हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिडिक्टिव एल एल वर्ड पार्सर टेक्निक ओके विच वन इज वन ऑफ द टॉप डाउन पार्सिंग टेक्निक और विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नॉन रिकर्सिव डिसेंट पार्सर विच इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एल एल वन पार्सर ओके सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वॉट इज एल एल वन स्टैंड फॉर दिस फर्स्ट एल स्टैंड फॉर लेफ्ट टू राइट मीन्स वी हैव टू स्कैन द इनपुट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट देन दिस सेकेंड एल एज स्टैंड फॉर लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेटिव एज यू ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट द टॉप डाउन अप्रोच फॉल्स इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन एंड दिस नंबर वन इज वॉट इज दिस नंबर वन दिस नंबर वन इज अ सिंबल इज अ सिंबल विच मीन्स दैट इट यूजेस ओनली वन इनपुट सिंबल वन इनपुट सिंबल विच यू कैन से एज लुक अहेड टू प्रिडिक्ट द पार्सिंग प्रोसीज प्रोसेस सो दिस एल एल वन स्टैंड फॉर लेफ्ट टू राइट लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेटिव एंड दिस वन इज द मीन्स दैट इन दिस इज अ लुक अहेड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर वी आर ओनली यूज वन सिंबल एज अ इनपुट सिंबल टू पास द प्रोसेस द नेक्स्ट इज If I talk about the data structure of used by एल एल वन पार्सर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूज बाय एल एल वन पार्सर देन देर आर थ्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वन इज इनपुट बफर सेकेंड इज स्टैक एंड थर्ड इज parsing table parsing table if i draw a diagram about these data structure then input buffer will be shown like this that we have a buffer input buffer and this input buffer we are going to store the input tokens for example we are uh, store a plus b and dollar okay second is the stack so we are going to use a stack this is the top in which we have a starting symbol and the starting symbol is always followed by dollar here we have a ll1 parser ll1 parser and from this we get the output and third one is the parsing table this is the uh this is the parsing table we have in the parsing table <coughs> sorry in the parsing table this is a two dimensional array the table has a row which shows for non terminal for example a b and c the row shows the non terminal and the column shows the terminal for example a plus b and dollar like this so these are three data structure <coughs> we are going to use in ll1 parser one is input buffer to store the input tokens then we use a stack in which the symbol of the right hand side of the rule are pushed into the stack in the reverse order from that is from right to left and third one is the table which is basically a two dimensional array thus use of that make use this algorithm is non recursive and theek okay. <coughs> hai and in the table the row represent the non terminal and the column represent the terminal now here we are uh, one important point is that for the construction of the uh, for the construction of predictive ll1 parser we have to follow the following steps the first step is we have to compute first two functions one is first function okay which is also known as leading function and we also compute a follow function which is also known as trailing function so for the compute for the construction of this predictive ll1 parser we have to first compute these two function first and follow or you can say leading or trailing second 
for the now we construct the predictive parsing table predictive parsing table by using the these two function first and follow and the third step is that we pass the input string we pass the input string with the help of with the help of this parsing table which we create in our second step so we discuss all these three step one by one in my three video so i uh, create this uh, ll1 topic in three parts in the first part we uh, we find first and follow function then we create the parsing table and by use and then after by using the parsing table we pass the input string okay so for in this video itself i am going to discuss one question in which we find first and follow function okay so please keep uh, watch watch this so for finding the first function or leading function we start with any symbol and generate all the symbol from which variable is going to start and in the follow what is the terminal which could follow a variable in the process of derivation so first example the question is that we have first we have a, a production rule that is e derive t e dash e dash derive plus t e dash or epsilon t derive f t dash t dash derive star f t dash and epsilon and f derives id or open brace e close brace for this particular grammar now we are going to compute first function and follow function or you can say leading function and trailing function so here we are going to write first function and then we compute follow function okay so first what is, how we calculate the first as we know that in the stack the starting symbol is always find, always followed by the dollar in this question see in this question e is the starting symbol okay so <clears throat> uh first we discuss about the first then we discuss about the follow so see here what is the first function of this e means to find the first of e see here to find the first of e first of e is if i derive if i uh, create the parse tree of this e then e derive t e dash means like this e derive t e dash then this t derives we have to consider the leftmost derivative then this t derive f t dash and this f derive id or open brace or e or this so first of e is first of t first of t is first of f and first of f is id or open brace okay so how we do this first of e is equal to uh, <coughs> first of t first of e is equal to first of t and first of t is first of f so for finding the first of e we have to first find what is first of f see here what is first of f if i pass a tree f we prepare like this f derive id or f derive open brace e or close brace means the first of f is id as well as open brace so the first of f is id and open brace okay if i found what is first of f then we can directly mention what is first of t first of t is first of f so first of t is also becomes id and open brace okay then what is first of t is equals to first of e then what is first of e first of e is also becomes id and open brace so this is how we find the first of e t and f now we find first of e dash see here if i uh, at the beginning level you without uh, to remove the confusion to find the first function just prepare the parse tree so for e dash if i prepare e dash if i prepare uh, the parse tree for the e dash 
the the e dash derive plus t e dash means it always start with plus or it always starts with epsilon so the first of t is sorry first of e dash is plus or epsilon okay now for this <coughs> sorry first of t dash is it always start with or by, uh, either asterisk or epsilon so the first of t is asterisk or epsilon so this is how uh, this is all about that how we uh, compute the first function now the most important part is that we have to compute follow function okay so let's see for finding the follow function first is there are two or more things you have to keep in mind that if a symbol is a starting symbol then the follow of symbol of the that starting symbol is always followed by dollar okay second point is that if we have to find the follow of any symbol and which is the rightmost element of right hand side then we uh, then we follow the uh, for finding the for follow of that value for that terminal then which is the rightmost element of the right hand side then we always follow the left hand side so see first we have to find of follow of e as e is the starting symbol so it is always followed by dollar okay and second thing is for finding the follow just check where when where wherever e comes at the right hand side see here e comes here no e comes here no 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 e comes here so what follow e e is followed by close brace so with the start uh, with the dollar sign we also have a close brace so this is the follow of e i again explain for finding the follow of a starting symbol first it is always followed by dollar then now check in the right hand side where that for where that symbol comes e is not encounter here not here not here not here not here not but here now check if this e encounter here then what follow e e is followed by an close brace so we write it down here okay now sorry now uh, next we have to find out follow of e dash what is follow of e dash now check Where, uh, where e dash encounters from the starting. See, if if I check here, then e dash encounter here. But this e dash is the right becomes the rightmost element. As I already discussed, that if a symbol is the rightmost element of the right hand side, just to find the follow of that function or for uh, that value, just follow the left hand side. Means if I have to find the follow of e dash. then it is equals to the follow of left hand side that is follow of e which becomes dollar and close brace now again check where e dash encounter here e counter uh, e dash encounter here but see again this e and e dash becomes the rightmost element of the right hand side so just follow the left hand side then follow of e dash is what yet we have only dollar and close brace so the answer is dollar and close brace or uh, there is no one place where e dash encounter okay now what is follow of t now check as t appears two times in the right hand side so first we consider this t so follow of this t follow of t follow of t is first if i consider this that is uh e derive t e dash then what is for, what is follow e e is followed by e dash means the first of e dash is followed by t so for finding the follow of t we have to just see what is the first of e dash what is the first of e dash plus and epsilon but the important property is this that the epsilon do not never comes in the follow function means uh for finding the follow of t i am finding the first of e dash i am finding the first of e, t is followed by the e dash followed by e dash means first of e dash first e uh, first of e dash is plus and dollar plus and epsilon so we just consider only plus 
and for epsilon we if i put here epsilon then it goes to be discarded and t becomes the rightmost element and when this t becomes the rightmost element for finding the follow of this we just finding the follow of left hand side that is the find what is the follow of e dash follow of e dash is dollar and close brace okay now t appears one more time here now for the, uh, with the same condition follow of t is first of this e dash first of e dash is plus and epsilon plus is already encountered but if i put here epsilon it always it discarded and t becomes the rightmost and for this t we follow the e dash which is like this so this is the follow of t now for finding the follow of t dash see uh, how many times t dash appears at the right hand side one here and one is here in this t, for this case t dash is the rightmost element of the right hand side so we just follow the follow of t what is follow of t follow of t is plus dollar and close brace and for this t dash t dash again becomes the rightmost element so we just follow the left hand side what is the follow of t dash this is only so the answer is plus dollar and close brace now what is follow of f follow of f is we adjust to see how many times f appears at the right hand side so one time here and one time here so follow of f is first of t dash first of t dash is idn idn uh sorry 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 uh for finding the for finding the f for finding the first of this uh first of this uh hmm so for finding the follow of f we have to find the first of t dash first of t dash is asterisk and epsilon so epsilon do not comes here so we just write it down first asterisk and if i put epsilon here so t become discarded and f becomes the rightmost element and f when when f becomes the rightmost element it just follow the t what is the follow of t plus dollar and close brace okay now f appears again one more time so this follow of f is first of t dash what is first of t dash same asterisk and epsilon so we get the same answer so this is or how we get the we compute the first and follow of a particular grammar in our next video in our next video we discuss about that we just done this now we with the help of this first and follow we create the predictive parsing table and in our next video next to next video we after the creating the parsing table we parse a input with the help of this parsing table i hope you fully understand this question but if you still have any doubt then you can please ask any time and if you like our video then please subscribe our channel and share our video thanks for watching